time having arrived, I hereby call the uh, October 10th, 8 p.m. City Council to order. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which, which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilors, Councilor Stanisky actually is under the weather tonight. He is unable to join us. Uh, our thoughts with him. We hope he uh, has a speedy recovery. We're going to go on to uh, agenda item number one, please. The acceptance of the minutes of September 25th, 2017 <coughs> City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Police Sergeant Brian Baker to the, Bro to the Police Lieutenant and the Brockton Police Department. Council Farwell. Mr. President, I move that we take items two, three, and four collectively and we suspend the rules and act on them this evening. Second. 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 Motion on the floor properly seconded to, uh, to take two, three, and four on the agenda collectively and also to act on two, three, and four on the suspension of the rules. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read three and four. Police Patrolman Brian Bradley Jr. to the Police Sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. Police Lieutenant Mike Picaro uh, to the Brockton Police Captain in the Brockton Police Department. Andy Counselors, uh, we do have uh, Mr. Maker, Mr. Benvy, and Mr. Picaro here. If you gentlemen could please just stand and we can recognize you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do for the citizens of the city of Brockton. Uh, it, it really uh, is yeoman's work. You put your lives on the line, and we do thank you. With that being said, we're going to take on uh, we're going to take a formal vote on two, three, and four. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. ASAC. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ian Airy. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The, uh, the promotions are hereby ratified. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> We're going to take a one minute recess. Oh, really? Councils, I hereby call the City Council meeting back into order. Okay. Council, follow up. On the prior three items, I move reconsideration in the hope it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion made, properly second, reconsideration, hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed, reconsideration does not prevail. We're going to go on to agenda item number five, please. Of Sweden LLC DBA Nationwide Auto Center okay, so for motor vehicle repair mechanical body license located at 1104 North Montello Street, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, April 20, 2017. Hearing is signed for October 10, 2017 at 8 p.m. The fire department has no objections yeah. and all the necessary paperwork has been filed properly. Council, as time haven't arrived, I'm going to declare this part of the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward and state your name for the clerk. Charbel Swayden, 34, uh, 39 Rachel Drive, Rainham. Any, uh, any statements for the uh, council? I hope I do. You know, I'm doing good. Okay. Good job in there. Thank you. Any questions? 
Councilors, any questions for the applicant on this? Council Cruz. Uh, just actually a question. Is this a transfer of a previous license, yes. uh, Mr. This Clerk? Is, there is a license at this address, and it's in the form of a transfer, yes. Thank but you. But the premises has been reinspected, and all the necessary uh, requirements have been fulfilled. But there is an existing license. There was an existing license. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council Cruz. Any other questions? Council Bonds, please. Yes, thank you. Um, so this is the uh, uh, this is number five, correct? I just want to make sure. That's I'm correct, sure. Council. Okay. Were you um, the gentleman that, uh, that I heard a story actually just recently that a gentleman from Ward Seven had gone to the clerk's office to get a license, but you were told that there were no more given out. Was that you? I'm sorry, I have a bed here. And I can't, I can't hear. Were you the gentleman that was told that there were no more licenses? To, to be distributed in the city of Brockton when you initially went to the clerk's office? No, ma'am. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hmm? Any other questions for this applicant? For yeah, the, really. Uh, for the chair. Yeah. Council the clerk. So we could clear a point up. I see that the questions here probably before the latest audits was passed. This application was put in well before that matter came before the council. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Chairman, where, oh. where this is a transfer, I don't believe it would be uh, necessary to go to public safety, especially if all the paperwork is in order. Uh, well, the council, you're the chair of the public safety, so. Mm -hmm. Well, then I, I would suggest we act on it this evening. Okay. We're not there quite yet, but um, there's no other questions for this applicant. Anyone else here in the chamber in favor of this? Third and final time, anyone here in the chamber in favor of this application? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Is there anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Third and final time, anyone here in opposition? That part of the hearing is closed as well. <coughs> Will the council, Council Farwell? I move uh, for approval. Second. Second. Are there any steps on this, any stipulations on this matter? I would, I, I'd inquire of the clerk, would the same stipulations carry over? Uh, they could be, yes. Okay, could we read them into the record just so that we know what they are, please? question would be on the hours of operation in the days. Other than that, there'd be no used uh, parts stood outside, no oil, no gasoline, no cars in disrepair, and uh, the number of vehicles on a premises is allowed by the garage license. So then now I, the question would be the hours of operation. Then I, I'd like to inquire, if I may, uh, what would the days of the week and the hours of operation be, sir? Monday through Friday, eight, 8 to 6, Saturday, 8 to 5, sir. Sunday, we close. Monday through Friday, 8 to 6? Correct. And Saturday? Saturday, 8 to 5, Saturday, and Sunday, we close. 8 to 5, close Sunday. Then I'm going to withdraw my earlier motion and make a motion that we approve with these stipulations as to hours and days of operation. Second. The second on the original uh, motion has been revoked as well. I don't remember who yes. seconded it. Council Cruz second. did. That's been revoked as well. Yes. It's a new motion on the floor. It's been properly seconded with the stipulations as such. Just point of information for those here and those watching on TV, relative to um, motorcycle repair licenses, it's been the practice with new licenses that we refer them to a subcommittee, which is called public safety. In this case, this is a transfer of an existing license. So the council has deemed that it doesn't need to go back to public safety. It's going to have conditions attached to the license if it's approved. <clears throat> Motion now comes before us relative to granting the license with that stipulations attached as such. All in favor of granting the transfer, please raise your hand. All opposed, the transfer carries with the stipulations attached there too. Thank you, sir. Thank have you. A good Thank evening. you, Council. Thank Can you. Go on to number six, please. Petition of David Traveris and Jose Rodriguez, DBA, Royal Motor Enterprises, Inc., for motor vehicle repair mechanical body license, located at 27 Freight Street, Unit C, Brockton, Mass., and Clerk's Office, August 25, 2017. Hearing is signed for October 10, 2017, at 8 p.m. There are cu uh, currently no proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, or bonding. 
and approval of the uh, equipment and installation by the fire department uh, would uh, eliminate the, uh, the uh, fact that right now they can't operate the body shop as far as painting and priming. Once the proper equipment is installed and the fire department expects it, then they will okay it. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's one here in favor, please uh, come forward and state your name for the clerk. Dave Tavares, 53 Norwich Road, Brockton. Jose Rodriguez, uh, 139 Winter Street, Brockton, Mass. Thank you, gentlemen. Do you have any statement for the council? No. No. Any questions for the gentleman? Clear this matter up to this application was in prior to the audience. Clerk has indicated to me as well that this matter was uh, filed properly prior to the ordinance being uh, put forth. Um, but this is deemed a new, this is, Mr. Clerk, this is deemed a new, okay. Um, anyone else here in favor? Anyone else here in the chamber in favor? Do you want to go on record and state it as such? If so, it's simple, just come forward, state your name for the clerk if you could. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Greg Ingram. I live on uh, 146 Court Street, and we are both owners over at that um, SoCo. And you support this? Yes. Thank you. Anyone else here in the chamber that wants to come forward and support this matter? If so, please come forward. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Anthony Oso, 146 Court. I support it. Thank you, sir, yep. for being here. <clears throat> Third and final time. Is there anyone else here in the chamber in favor of this matter? If, if, if I don't see it, I'm going to close that pilot hearing. It's going to be closed. Anyone here in opposition? Council, please come forward. State your name for the record, please. Ward 5, City Councilor Ian Borga, 37 Anna Juan Street. Um, it's not that I'm completely opposed to it. We've already had problems, and they're not open yet. I've gotten complaints from the residents at SoCo Lofts. Uh, there are a lot of activity on Sunday, and most garages, if not all garages, are closed on Sunday. I'm seeing there's cars parked up and down Freight Street. People are having trouble, you know, at sometimes finding parking or getting in and out of the parking lots. There's been some other concerns and a lot of noise and activity. So I am hoping that we can move this to um, public safety and, and see that all the stipulations and other concerns are addressed. Thank, Thank you, you. Councilor. We appreciate it. Anyone else here in opposition? Third and final time. Anyone here in opposition? Part of the hearing is closed. Will the council, Council Borgard, you have the floor on that. Yeah, yes, I, I would like to move this to public safety. Second. So motion made properly seconded to send this matter to public safety. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Number six on the agenda is hereby referred from the council to public safety. Thank you, councilors. We're going to go on to number seven, please. Petition of Jasmine <coughs> Montero at 691 Warren Avenue for a secondhand articles license in city council September 25th, 2017. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing uh, open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward and state your name for the clerk. Jasmine Montero, 89 Forest Avenue, Brockton, Mass. Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, do you have any information you want to share with the council? Um, only that um, I've been in business since December 1st, 2016. I sell new retail clothing, shoes, um, household items, things that I get from warehouses, um, I've recently started getting things like furniture from auctions and things like that, and I realized I needed the secondhand article license. So with your help today, I hope to get that license so I can continue to provide things like furniture for lower income families in this community. Thank you very much. Any other questions, councils? Council Fowell. Oh, good evening. Uh, do you deal in any precious metals, jewelry, no, or anything no like that? No precious metals, no jewelry, nothing of that sort. Okay, and I should know this, but 691 Warren Avenue, how large is the premises and what hours of the, uh, what days of the week and hours of the day would you be open? I honestly, I'm not sure how large the premises is, but um, we're open from Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, Tuesday to Saturday, 11 a.m., you said? Yes. To? 7 p.m. 11 to 7. Uh, and then one Sunday a month. And one Sunday a month? Yes. What are the hours on Sunday, that one Sunday a month? It's the same. Same, same hours. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone else here in favor? Anyone here in the chamber in favor? Third and final time, that part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in the chamber in opposition? 
Third and final time, anyone here in opposition about this matter? Part of the hearing is closed. Will the council? Mr. Chairman, may I inquire of the clerk, have all of the background checks been done that the police usually do and all paperwork is in order? The paperwork's in order. She's filed the a, a lift for the workers' comp. So everything is in order. I, I, council is just given the nature of what she's going to be doing. I, I don't see a need to send this to public safety. I, I would suggest we act on it tonight. That's the form okay. of a motion, Council. That is in the form of a Second. motion. Second. It's a motion made. It's been properly seconded. Uh, to act on this. Uh, all in favor of, of granting uh, this secondhand article license, please raise your hand. All opposed, it's hereby granted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. Petition of Verizon New England Inc. and Mass Electric Company to relocate one jointly owned pole P81 on the westerly side of Main Street, pole 81, to be placed at a point on the westerly side of Main Street approximately 16 inches in a general northerly direction from existing pole location on pole 81. The one pole relocation is necessary in order to allow ingress and egress from an existing driveway. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare this uh, part of the hearing open. Is there anyone here from the utility company? Is there anyone here in the chamber relative to this matter from either Verizon or National Grid? Wow. Counselors. You want, I'd like to see if we could postpone this to the end of the meeting. To motion to postpone till the end of the meeting. Second. So motion properly second. Agenda item number eight will be taken at the end of the, uh, the meeting. We're going to go on to number nine, please. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of October 2nd, 2017. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Chief of the Brockton Fire Department requesting the acceptance of donations from Anthony Prosper, 108 Belcher Avenue, Brockton, to the City of Brockton Veterans Services Department to be used for flag collection and proper flag disposal. The estimated value of the flag box is $550. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 27 zoning the revised ordinances of the City of Procton <clears throat> by adding Article 18, Thatcher Street Smart Growth Overlay District. Mr. President. Um, Councilor Fowle. Mr. President and colleagues, uh, on its face, this looks like a simple zoning ordinance amendment. It's called an overlay district. But it's also designed to allow for a substantial housing project down on Thatcher Street. Uh, recently, Councilor Beauregard had a meeting over at the Pluff Academy. Councilor Rodriguez and I attended. And there were approximately 50 or 60 people there, very sincere, and they felt as though they did not receive all of the information that they would like to hear, and many of them were in opposition. Now, it seems to me that we're in the business of presenting information to the public, <clears throat> making it available to them, asking the relevant questions of the people who are involved in this. And for that reason, I think we should send this back to finance. In that setting, we can have the city planner who supports this come in, the mayor who supports this come in, attorney James Burke who represents the uh, applicants who wanted the zoning change. And also there is a Mr. David Aiken from the Planning Office of Urban Affairs. He has been involved in other projects around the state. But all of the residents down there feel as though they were blindsided. And quite frankly, if you look at everything in the way it was handled, they were. I mean, we did advertise a zoning change, but we never really said it was attached to what would be a future housing project. And we held a public meeting, but we held it down at the convent. Excuse me. And, and quite frankly, I'm not in favor of holding public meetings on religious property. I, I think they should be held in public meetings, uh, public places, public buildings. So for all of those reasons, I hope my counselors will honor a motion to refer this to FinCom. Second. Invite the people that I've mentioned, and let's have a full vetting of this project. There's, there's far too much misinformation out there, far too much. I'm not even going to go into it tonight. It's, it's outrageous. Second. Okay, motion has been made and has been seconded, and that's going to be sent back to a regular finance committee meeting. That's in no way any type of a public hearing. It's back to the finance committee for us to have discussion with the, uh, those five uh, people that are going to be invited. All in favor of that? Opposed? It will be heard at our next finance meeting, which will be next Monday evening, October the 16th.
Next item. The appointment of Claudia Danielle of 28 Bigney Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Commission on Women's Issues for a two-year term ending October 2019 in Council September 25th. 2017 before the standing committee on finance that report is favorable questions on confirmation by a roll call vote um, mr clerk if you could kindly read the roll yes barnes yes beauregard yes cruz yes Neary? yes Farwell? yes lally yes Monahan? yes rodriguez yes sullivan yes ten in the affirmative the appointment is hereby confirmed the appointment of Richard Johnson of 35 Longwood Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for a term of five years in Council September 25th, 2017. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Enary? Yes. Harwell? Yes. Valley? Yes. Monian? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The appointment is hereby confirmed. The appointment of Jean Baptiste Fleury of 55 City Hall Plaza, Brockton, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years in Council September 25th, 2017. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question on confirmation by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Enary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Riley? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed. The appropriation of $1,964,000 from the Stabilization Fund to Fiscal 17 Police Personal Services retroactive payment, including all overtime, $644,000. Fiscal 18 Police Personal Services other than overtime, one million one hundred ninety thousand dollars physical 18 police personal services overtime including impact and license overtime one hundred and thirty thousand dollars this appropriation has a conditional certification for fiscal 19 in council september 25th 2017 refer to the standing <coughs> committee on finance that report is favorable questions on adoption uh, by a roll call vote madam clerk kindly read the roll yes barnes yes Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And in the affirmative. Appropriations hereby adopted. Council Ian Airy. Mr. President, I move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail on okay. this item. Okay. Motion made uh, in hopes of reconsideration does not prevail is properly second. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Thank you, Councilor. An appropriation of $175,649.39 from Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 91, Department Training Grant, and EMD, Regulatory Compliance Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, State 911 Training Grant, and EMD, Regulatory Compliance Grant Fund. End Council, September 25th, 2017. Refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Enary? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Appropriations hereby adopted. Order that the City Council acquire the most current list of city users foreclosed and deeded property presently in the possession of the City of Brockton from the Treasurer Collector. End Council September 25th, 2017. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Council Bond. Excuse me, Mr. President. Um, if I remember correctly, the last time we met on this, it was actually referred back or it was, it was suggested that we refer it back to finance so that it could go back to real estate. Yes. So I don't know if uh, if we vote on it now, will it go away because it's supposed to go to finance? You are correct, Councilor. We're back in the full city council, so we should, it, that's right, it was stated. So we'd have to go from the full council back to real estate committee if we so choose to do that. So would that be a motion? Yeah. From here. You'd have to make it in the form of a motion. Okay, well I move that we, uh, Take number 19 and refer it back to uh, FinCom. Second. Second. Not FinCom. You want to real send estate. it to real estate. Real estate. Well, I thought you said, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's right. It's back here to real estate. Excuse me. I misspoke. To real estate. And, and just point of information, again, we did speak with the chairman of real estate, Mr. Rodriguez. So that is correct. Mm -hmm. Thanks for refreshing your memory. Okay. So motion on the floor, properly second, to send agenda item 19 to real estate committee. All in favor? All opposed. Motion carries. Thank you, Council Bonds. It's mm -hmm. going to the real estate committee. Thank you.
resolved to invite the chair of the traffic commission and the commissioner of the department of public works to discuss the procedures involved with both the winter parking ban and the snow emergency policies and their implementations to prepare for the upcoming season in council september 25th 2017 before the committee on finance that report is favorable questions on adoption by a roll call vote madam clerk kindly read the roll asac yes barnes yes Beauregard? yes cruz yes Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Valley? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Resolve is hereby adopted, Councilors. Ordered that the city hereby accepts a grant as a grant and gift from Anthony Prosper of 108 Belcher Avenue, Brockton, a flag box to be donated to the City of Brockton Fire Department. The estimated value of the flag box is $550. The gift will be used by the City of Brockton Veterans Services Department for collection and proper flag disposal. Council, this is going to be referred to finance, and we are going to invite Mr. Prosper, Anthony Prosper, who's in PAC 2000, which my son is in Boy Scouts, and he's a candidate for an Eagle Scout. And uh, he's very, very anxious to come before us and express this, so he will be an invited guest. So Agenda 21 is referred to Finance Committee. I have to go back to the hearing on Yep, we got to go back to number eight, Councilors, before we get to mm -hmm. 22. Um, is there anyone here from the utility company relative to agenda item number eight? We already read it and we gave you the professional courtesy to uh, continue to the end. Verizon or Mass Electric, anyone here? Will the council. Motion to postpone. Second. Second. It's a motion on the floor, properly seconded to postpone agenda item number eight due to the fact that nobody from the uh, application petitioner is here. All in favor of postponement? All opposed, postponement carries. Number two would be the granting. So you're going to postpone that, I'm sure. Number 22 can be read first. Yep. The rise of New England Inc. and Mass Electric Company to relocate one jointly owned pole, P81, mm. westerly side of Main Street. No, pole 81 to be do. placed at a point on the westerly side of Main Street, approximately 16 uh, feet in a generally northerly direction from existing location of pole, pole 81. Councils, again, number eight was just postponed. We need a motion on this. Motion to postpone. Second. Motion to postpone was, was uh, motion properly second. All in favor of postponing agenda item 22? All opposed, that carries. It's postponed. 8 and 22 are postponed. Anything else before us? Any moment of personal? Mr. Council Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just a reminder the members of the Ordinance Committee that Thursday evening at 6 we will have a meeting. Uh, I will make every effort to get you out of here quickly because I know there are some candidates forums that evening. Uh, right. uh, so 6 o'clock here and we'll, we'll get you out quickly. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Cruz. Councilor Ianieri. Mr. President, if I might, a moment of personal privilege. Yes, I sir. just want to remind the members of the Accounts Committee we will be meeting next Monday evening, 6 o'clock p.m. in the GAR room. So, again, Accounts Committee next Monday evening, 6 o'clock in the GAR room. And I also uh, want to make an announcement. Now, I'll read it slowly so everybody can hear so that they know I'm making the announcement. I will be having a Ward 3 meeting <laughs> on Tuesday evening, October 17th. 2017 at the John F. Kennedy School on Ash Street. That again is next Tuesday evening, October 17th, 2017, Ward 3 meeting. All are invited, general public's invited. As many that want to come, please come. But it's going to be next Tuesday evening at the Kennedy School. What Thank time you. is that, Council? 7 <laughs> o'clock p.m. 7 p.m. And that's a ward meeting. Exactly. Okay. Well, we do know the Dean always does ward meetings, so we uh, will have a good attendance. Thank you for that information. Thank you. Anything else before? Council Beauregard, please. Thank you. Thank you. Just a moment of personal uh, privilege here. Just want to um, remind people uh, that uh, both the alumni and um, school department are having a reception on the Arnold Colombo football field beginning at 6 p.m. on Friday the 13th to recognize mm -hmm. teachers and celebrate teachers and staff and their contributions to the public school system and also to gather alumni of uh, Broughton High. Thank so you, Council. It is know, a homecoming event, event so thank welcome. you, Council. Yeah. Thank you. We do have quite a few BHS alum here on the Council, so he'll be well attended. Anyone else before us? Seeing none, I wish you a good evening. Meetings adjourned.